So this is part two of the $456 battery, and we are going to do a capacity test and figure out the standby consumption of this relay. So first I connected my own BMS, and we're gonna check if there's voltage. And the voltage at the terminals is 12.8, so now it's safe to charge because this BMS is active. So it's been a couple hours and it's almost done charging. We're charging at 30 amps with these three power supplies. So the current dropped to zero and these are fully charged, so we're gonna hook up an inverter. And this is our watt hour counter. So I'm gonna put a load on this 12 volt inverter and come back in a few hours. Well, well, well. 106 amp hours, that is not okay. And these cells are rated for 120 amp hours. So yeah, that's not acceptable. I need to get my money back. Now the next test that was requested by my viewers was seeing the standby consumption of this 200 amp relay. And I like to do this with a power supply. It's a pretty fast and easy way to do it. And to keep this relay closed, we take 14.9 and we multiply it by 0.17 amps. And it only uses 2.5 watts. So that's not bad actually, that's really low. But over the course of 24 hours, that's gonna be 62 watt hours. And if you divide that by 1365, which is the watt hour capacity of this battery that we measured, means that you could have standby for 21 days. I stand actually corrected in this. I thought that this would actually use more power because some of the 500 amp continuous duty relays that we tested had like a standby of 18 watts and they got really warm. This one gets very warm, but it doesn't use that much power. So what that tells me is this is probably not a 200 amp continuous duty relay. I would not trust anything more than 100 amps through this thing. So I'm really happy that my viewers pointed this out and told me to do the capacity test because I paid for a 120 amp hour battery and I got a 106 amp hour battery. So I'm glad I can save you guys the headache if you guys were planning on buying one of these, I would avoid these like the plague. So please wish me luck in the AliExpress dispute process, which I've done multiple times, but AliExpress always returns my products that I can prove are false but I do not try to give my money back if the products are cheap. I anticipate that they will be cheaply made, but when I test a different capacity of battery than what is advertised, then I'm gonna start a dispute process. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for commenting on the previous video telling me to do the capacity test because you guys were absolutely right. So yeah, thanks for watching the video and I will talk to you later, bye.